So, the Planet Zoo uh, Southeast Asian expansion pack came out a couple days ago, and I've been kind of tinkering with a couple different zoos, layouts, trying to, you know, figure out how I wanted to go about doing this. And I made one really good zoo layout, and then I tried having a boat tour through it. And I made the whole boat tour just to find out I couldn't put water because the paths were in the way. And that ended up being scrapped. And then I tried two or three different more ones with different layouts, trying to get all the exhibits kind of plotted out at once. But that didn't go too much as planned. So I decided to take things slow and steady and just <laughs> space out the exhibits one at a time and actually start getting into it. Uh, the first exhibit personally one of my favorite animals ever and I'm so glad that they've been added into Planet Zoo after not being in the game since Zoo Tycoon 1 is the Clouded Leopard and ever since I was a kid going to my my local zoo uh, they were my favorite animal to go see or one of my favorite animals I did a project on them in grade 2 and uh, of course I'm talking about the Clouded Leopard and I'm sad to say that I recently found out within the last month that uh, my my home zoo is planning on getting rid of the clouded leopards because uh, they're decommissioning the, the building they're housed in. So that's really sad for me to hear, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to go see them before COVID or they don't go <laughs> before COVID's over and the zoo opens up. Because... Uh, really hope to see them at least one more time. Uh, yeah, but for this exhibit, kind of similar in style. I'm trying to make the exhibits a bit smaller to see if guests can actually see them. They weren't very happy in my last zoo because they couldn't see any animals because the exhibits were so big. But um, yeah, so a bit smaller exhibits, lots of viewing points. It's you don't look down quite as far. The path is raised, but the uh, elevation is, you know, at sea level and included just a little bit of a trench or a moat, I should say. I don't even know if they'll be able to throw the food over. Hopefully they will. I might make the land come out a little bit more if they can. Um, but yeah. Enough rambling, I'm going to jump right into making this now.
so, done with this Cloudy Leopard exhibit, and I am very happy with how it turned out. Uh, wanted to go, I mentioned before at the beginning, with a bit of a moat, very forested, lots of areas for the leopards to climb. And I think it looks really cool. Um, made this little platform that the educator can throw the meat to during the talk to get the leopards, the cloud leopards up close. Um, yeah, they can escape through the moat, which is nice, but it gives a good view into the exhibit. And sh they're not able to escape, which is nice. Uh, have enrichment scattered throughout the habitat to try to, and mostly along the walls to try to get them to come out. But if they were to climb across there, you know, gives a good view. It was a little more cautious with sight lines compared to the uh, North American Zoo. Yeah, so just. It's able to make it forested, but still feel open. And <laughs> see one going through the shelter there, which we'll check out in a second. Yeah, I think this is <laughs> this is contender for possibly new favorite exhibit. I had the idea for like the climbing structures around sort of rocky out crops for a while. I wanted to try it out. So like they're able to climb and then have that shelter kind of right at the front. As I said before, good view for the educator. Same with the hammock and all that. Gave them a lot of climbing space, almost enough climbing space <laughs> that would, like the exhibit's still oversized, but just the climbing space alone would almost be sufficient for them. Uh, might still fancy up this building a bit, but you know, come in here and see the leopards on the inside. And then if there's it's one-way glass, but then it, oh, it's supposed to be one-way glass. I have to fix that. But it'll, you know, if they still need more privacy, you can come back to this area. Hear them, but don't see where they're at. See, <laughs> there's still a fairly small animal. Oh, they're there. The tail gets kind of crazy when you go far away from them. That was, speaking of crazy, that was kind of weird. Uh, same with that climbing animation. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the climbing animations seem to be a bit, a bit broken. Just a, just a little bit broken, maybe. But, uh, they are extremely arboreal, so, you know, want to make sure the habitat could replicate that. And their needs. Tried to give them lots of undergrowth. Of course. Good view for, for the climbing out croppings, like that. Yeah, just tried to be a little creative with this one. Looks good from the inside. Oh, yeah, see? Making use of the climbing structure already. Really happy that they added cloud leopards because, as I mentioned before, one of my favorite animals to see at my local zoo, and unfortunately, aren't going to be at the local zoo much longer. I have no idea what he was trying to do there. But just did a bit of a jump. Yeah, uh, really too much else to say. I think this turned out really well. I think it looks really good, both on the outside and the inside. <laughs> I 
it's stuck on their walkway. Yeah, I'm gonna be making this suit first and then opening it to guests. To try to cut down on the kind of guest congestion that happens whenever you build a new exhibit and they all rush to it. Yeah, see? You get a pretty good view of them. Again, they're not the largest animal, but... You know, if you had, like, a photography camera, you could zoom in really well. That's That was cool to see. I really like all the new little animations and details they put with this update. Nice and rocks. But yeah, like with the keeper top, they could, you know, throw the meat onto that platform. I checked it, made sure. They'll come right up to front. But see, he, this guy's been pretty good at sticking near the kind of outside of the exhibit, you know, playing with the ball and everything. I have no idea where the other one is. Oh! On the, the wonky tree. But yeah, I think that'll do it for this one. So, uh, thanks for watching.